episode 6 of Sia Time Out. I need to pinch myself right now, wearing my Diwali special outfit. So too, Shri Matthew Hayden. Mm. Namaskar, Mr. Hayden. Namaskar. Pinching myself because I can't believe what we've just witnessed. We are recording this less than 24 hours after, arguably, <laughs> the greatest ever innings yeah. played you at the one it, You calling it that? Should I call it that? You probably should. We'll save it. Mm. Let's save it for a little later. What a mm. week it's been though. Topped up by what we saw in Australia and Afghanistan. Matthew yeah. Eden, how was that? Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, when you think about that match, there was just so much about that was to be savoured. Firstly, the underdog of Afghanistan. Mm. They haven't just been here to compete. They've been here to win. And really, when you think of that result yesterday, it became the most special performance in one-day cricket history to actually stop that happening. So phenomenal. It was freakish, right? I can't believe what we've just seen, but that is how good Glenn Maxwell is. He's a bit of a freak and he loves that. He was on a golf cart a week back. He was. Well, was he on it or off it? Yeah. <laughs> he was a bit of both. <laughs> right, let's look back at the week gone by and yet again, the story is the same for India. Whoever comes up against them just gets demolished. Mm. So, India beating South Africa to really put some space between them and the rest of the league. Hey, yeah. We saw Pakistan. Not daunted by a 400 plus run chase, they stay alive after beating New Zealand, who've gone off the boil a bit. Mm. And we also saw the first ever. A lot. They've gone off the boil a and, lot. And you have about two minutes to give me this answer, otherwise, I'm going to time you out. Okay. Because we saw that yeah. as well. Yeah, All that, right, let's go, for, sh- let's go for your week review. Yeah, well, well again, I mean, those, those eight matches since the last one, three of real significance to Pakistan match. That was phenomenal chasing. Fuckers, a man who wasn't even in the side, was favoured all the way up to the World Cup. He launches into a full-on attack in a rain-affected match. But chasing 400, that's very close to the performance of the week, I must say. (laughs) Unbelievable. Supported well by Baba Azam as well. India, South Africa. I mean, that stuff there is the dreams of the nation of just how well India are actually going. And also the potential of South Africa to... uh, Oh my God. I said it. I mean, that was a stunning performance from India, but this is the pointy end of the stick, folks. And South Africa have got the potential and they showed that up in uh, Kolkata as well. Jadeja, brilliant. I mean, all the fast bowlers, brilliant. Siraj was on top of his game. To get them out for under 90, that, that's a pretty phenomenal win because these two sides have been going head to head for the top two in this competition and that's where they remain qualified as well. So whilst there wasn't sheep stations necessary <laughs> on that match, it was a beauty. Australia had to qualify and did so with some circumspect. <laughs> Again, Afghanistan winning the toss, putting Australia in the bat. They used to be a bit of a one-trick pony. They used to have put scoreboard pressure on uh, their opposition. That's what they tried yep. to do last night. And then they relied on their spinners to get them home. Not this time, though. Afghanistan have been that side that's chased well as well. So they have been defiant with the bat. That's what they proved to be until they hit the big show. (laughs) Glenn Maxwell, he hates getting called that, but that was all him last night. Something very special. You know, I was just checking how long it took for that answer to come in. (laughs) And it was about 1 minute 50 seconds, which which could still have you timed out these days. Uh, That's ridiculous. I mean, that was a ridiculous piece of play. Uh, the laws of the game are there, so he's done nothing wrong, Shapi, but at the end of the day, the spirit of the game is important as well. He crossed the line there, I'm not comfortable with that. So for me, ba bow. Always check whether your helmet is working properly before you go in. <laughs> All right, let's see if Maxwell's superb innings allows him to enter the Seat batter charts for this week. Remember, these are specially curated just for the World Cup, so you get an idea of who's doing well. And we see Glenn Maxwell feature there. There's also uh, Quinton de Kock, who still occupies top spot. Rachin Ravindra, what a tournament he's having. Virat Kohli, milestone 49th ODI 100. Mm. David Warner there as well. That's a pretty good list. Hit us. Yeah, tough to really decide amongst what the best performance of that uh, list is. But let's just go firstly to the honourable mentions, which has to be... Uh, Ratchan Ravindra, his announcement of his talent and ability at the World Cup, something very special. Virat Kohli's 49 on his birthday. Hello, world. That's something special and sacred to celebrate this week. Um, Maxwell's arrival, you know, into these uh, timeout charts as well, um, in some sort of style, phenomenal performances. You know, so all it up, I think, uh, I'm going to give it to Kohli this week. Just, just from a 
purest batting point of view and a sense of historical occasion, a legacy piece for India, beating the great Sachin Tendulkar, equally the great Sachin Tendulkar, still in this tournament, alive and ready to go. All right, let's have a look at our bowling charts, shall we? The Seattle bowler chart for the week sees Mohammad Shami play just four games in the World Cup and get on top. What an easy tournament this is for Mohammad Shami. Uh, Dilshan Madhushankar has been a surprise package. He's up there with the leading wicket-takers. Adam Zampa, Mitchell Santner, Ravindra Jadeja has broken through too after that five-wicket all against South Africa. Shain Afridi there as well. Thoughts on that? Uh, so he had bowler chart, Matthew Hayden. Well, I think Adam Zampa really requires special mention here. He had some game against England who have been a bit of a buy this World Cup, but <laughs> I mean, phenomenal performances <laughs> there. It's been all him really through the middle for Australia. They've qualified because of Adam Zampa and they did so because of both bat, ball, handy runs, great hanging catch as well um, and three wickets. Not the four that he's quite used to but uh, special. Ravindra also to me grabs the limelight. A South Africa clash was huge up in Kolkata. To take five for 33 there, that's uh, the performance of the week in my book. Did you call England a bye? I did. <laughs> I thought I was being kind, actually. <laughs> okay, time now for our Sport Drive Performance of the Week. No, no doubt in this one. Easy as you like. Glenn Maxwell it is, Matthew Hayden? Maxwell has to be there, right? I mean, we witnessed something very, very special at One Caddy. It is a venue where we witness special things. And uh, to me, though, when you look at that final score chart, you've got the captain, Pat Cummins, sitting on 12 runs out of a partnership of... 202. That's right. 202. Good contribution, though. I mean, but it was all yeah. the big show. I saw Cummins' yeah. tweet this morning where he said, uh, nice, good on Maxi to do his role as well. Yeah. He deserves some credit. <laughs> well, he needed that role, right? He needed someone to hang in there with him. But the phenomenal power hitting from a simple, unmovable base because he had cramps in every muscle. I don't know how many muscles there are in the human body, but I'm guaranteeing that 99.9% .9 of them were cramping. He looked like a grounded whiting at one point at the crease. He was flapping around like he was in a, almost a convulsion. Um, but what a champion yeah. performance for Australia, an important one as well to qualify. Now we are getting to the end of the tournament. It's time we start building up who our candidates are for player of the tournament. Quinton de Cox already got a back full of hundreds. Rachin Ravindra stood out. Maxwell. He had the fastest ever World Cup 100 and that's not even his best performance anymore. Yeah, Who are we looking at? Who's leading the race for player of the tournament, Matthew Hayden? I haven't even mentioned an Indian player yet. Yeah, well you should because mm -hmm. India have been dominant and you should be looking at your fast bowling unit as well, including Mohammad Shami, who again wasn't the first choice uh, third seamer in this tournament. So most definitely uh, Mohammad Shami. You should be looking, I think, at an Adam Zampa because mm. Australia have qualified on his basis as well and of course Maxwell has got to be there the show you know fastest hundred uh, in World Cup history be beating Aidan Markram who's been phenomenal should be there as well um, gosh I mean there's just there's just so much to go on with at the moment mm, all right and as we look ahead to the final week of the tournament quick comments from Matthew Hayden standout fixtures there well all to play for for the semi-final spots Afghanistan plays South Africa You've got Pakistan playing England and you've got New Zealand and Sri Lanka. I think the simple answer right now is who's going to claim, or the simple question right now is who's going to claim that fourth semi-final spot, Edos? Yeah, New, New Zealand really should hammer um, Sri Lanka. They, they haven't performed at all well in this tournament, uh, but they're a dangerous side. We've seen that as well through it. Um, but New Zealand for mine are hot favourites. Temptation, the Pakistan, you know, the way that Fakhar Zaman played and the way that they're just playing full stop you know, means that they're a big chance as well. All right. Thank you so much to Matthew Hayden. Look forward to your company next week on Seattle Timeout. Until then, once again from all of us, very happy and safe Diwali.